Standing here in what can only be described as a barren wasteland, I can't help but feel a mix of excitement and trepidation. This dry, cracked soil beneath my feet tells a story of neglect and harsh conditions. It's a place where traditional farming methods have failed, and nature seems to have given up. But where others see a hopeless case, I see an opportunity for innovation and transformation. This is the perfect canvas for an off-grid farming experiment that could change the way we think about agriculture. I clutch a wilted piece of lettuce, a sad reminder of my previous attempts at gardening. This poor lettuce, once full of potential, now serves as a testament to my questionable gardening skills. But failure is just a stepping stone to success, right? Each wilted leaf is a lesson learned, a step closer to mastering the art of sustainable farming. As I hold this wilted plant, I can't help but reflect on the countless hours spent trying to coax life from this unforgiving soil. The disappointment is real, but so is the determination to find a better way. What if there was a method that didn't rely on soil or even direct sunlight? What if technology could bridge the gap between failure and flourishing? But what if I told you there's a way to grow food all year round without soil, without sunlight, and with minimal manual labor? Enter the world of hydroponics, where plants grow in nutrient-rich water solutions, bathed in the glow of LED lights. This isn't just a futuristic fantasy. It's a reality that's already transforming urban agriculture. And what if I added that robots could do most of the heavy lifting? Sounds like sci-fi, right? But this is the cutting edge of agricultural technology. Imagine robots planting seeds, monitoring growth, and even harvesting crops. It's a vision that combines efficiency with sustainability, reducing the need for human labor, and minimizing environmental impact. Well, welcome to my off-grid, high-tech farming experiment. This is where traditional farming meets modern technology, creating a hybrid system that's both innovative and sustainable. It's an adventure that promises to be as challenging as it is rewarding, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in agriculture. Imagine a world where plants thrive in water, powered by the sun, and nurtured by technology. Solar panels provide the energy needed to run the entire system, making it not only off-grid, but also eco-friendly. This is a glimpse into a future where farming is both productive and sustainable, a future where we can grow food anywhere, anytime. While tiny robots tend to them like diligent little farmers, ensuring each plant gets the care it needs. These robots are equipped with sensors and AI, capable of making real-time adjustments to optimize growth conditions. It's like having a team of expert gardeners working around the clock but without the need for breaks or sleep. It's a vision of the future I'm diving into headfirst. This journey is about more than just growing food. It's about exploring the potential of technology to solve some of our most pressing challenges. From food security to environmental sustainability, the implications are vast and far-reaching. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this journey filled with hydroponic systems, solar panels, and cutting-edge technology. We'll explore the intricacies of setting up a hydroponic farm, the challenges of maintaining it, and the incredible rewards of seeing it thrive. And yes, there will be a few robotic mishaps along the way. After all, no great adventure is without its share of challenges and surprises. But each mishap is a learning opportunity, a chance to refine the system and make it even better. Let's see if technology can turn this desolate backyard into a thriving oasis. The transformation won't happen overnight, but with patience, perseverance, and a bit of ingenuity, anything is possible. Spoiler alert, it's going to be hilarious and maybe a little chaotic, but that's all part of the fun. So join me on this off-grid farming adventure, where we'll laugh, learn, and hopefully grow some amazing food along the way. Picture this me, standing in front of a whiteboard, sketching out my grand plan to go off-grid. It's a dream many of us have had at some point, right? The idea of living sustainably, being self-sufficient, and reducing our carbon footprint. But how do we actually make it happen? Well, it all starts with a plan. And my plan? It involves hydroponics and solar power. Let me walk you through it. The first step? Ditching dirt. Traditional farming relies heavily on soil, but soil can be a breeding ground for pests and diseases. Plus, it requires a lot of space and water. So, I decided to go with hydroponics. That's right, hydroponics is the name of the game, where plants grow in water, faster with no weeds, and a whole lot more sci-fi vibes. Imagine rows of leafy greens and vibrant vegetables growing in nutrient-rich water, all indoors, no soil, no mess, and the best part? You can grow them year-round, regardless of the weather outside. It's like having a futuristic farm right in your home. But there's a catch. We need power. Enter solar panels. Solar energy is clean, renewable, and perfect for an off-grid lifestyle. By harnessing the power of the sun, we can generate electricity to run our hydroponic systems and other household needs. It's a win-win situation. Now, I'll be honest, I thought I could just slap a few panels up and call it a day. 
Turns out they're heavy, really heavy. I had this vision of effortlessly installing them on my own, but reality hit hard. These panels are no joke. They require careful handling and proper installation to ensure they work efficiently. After a brief attempt at lifting one, I quickly realized I needed help. Lesson one, solar panels are not a one-man job. It takes a team to get them up and running. But once you have a few friends or professionals to assist, the process becomes much smoother. And trust me, the effort is worth it. But once they're up, it's like having a never-ending supply of free sun juice. These panels soak up sunlight and convert it into electricity, powering everything from your lights to your hydroponic pumps. It's an incredible feeling to know that you're generating your own energy and reducing your reliance on the grid. The challenge, sunlight isn't 24 seven. Cloudy days mean sad plants, so we need a backup plan. Solar energy is fantastic, but it's not always consistent. There will be days when the sun doesn't shine as brightly, and that's when we need to have a backup system in place to ensure our plants continue to thrive. Batteries or tears? I'm hoping for the former. By incorporating a battery storage system, we can store excess energy generated on sunny days and use it during cloudy periods. This way, our hydroponic system remains operational and our plants stay happy and healthy. It's all about finding the right balance and being prepared for any situation. With solar power sorted, it's time to tackle the hydroponic system. This is where the real fun begins. Hydroponics, for those who might not know, is a method of growing plants without soil. Instead, the plants grow in a nutrient-rich water solution. It's a fascinating blend of science and agriculture, and it promises faster growth and higher yields. Armed with PVC pipes, a water pump, and nutrient tanks, I set out to create either a high-tech farm or an elaborate plumbing disaster. The first step was to assemble the framework using the PVC pipes. These pipes would serve as the channels through which the nutrient solution would flow, feeding the plant's roots directly. Spoiler, it was the latter, at least initially. Water sprayed everywhere and I found myself soaked and screaming. Why did I think this was a good idea? It was a chaotic scene, with water gushing out of every possible joint and connection. I quickly realized that I had underestimated the importance of securing the pipes properly. Okay, note to self, check for leaks. But after a few adjustments, the system finally worked. I went back and meticulously checked each connection, tightening and sealing any potential leak points. It was a painstaking process, but it paid off. The water flowed smoothly through the system, and I could finally breathe a sigh of relief. And there it was, baby lettuce, thriving in its watery home. I felt like a scientist, a mad genius of sorts. Watching those tiny green leaves emerge and grow was incredibly satisfying. It was a testament to the power of innovation and perseverance. But here's the kicker. Nutrient balance is tricky. Too much, and you burn the plants. Too little, and they're sad and hungry. Finding the right balance was like walking a tightrope. I had to constantly monitor the nutrient levels, adjusting them based on the plant's needs. It was a delicate dance, but one that was crucial for the health of the plants. It's like Goldilocks, but with lettuce. Every day is a learning curve, but seeing those greens grow, totally worth it. Each day brought new challenges and new lessons, but with each passing day, the plants grew stronger and healthier. It was a rewarding experience, one that made all the hard work and effort worthwhile. The journey of building and maintaining a hydroponic system is filled with ups and downs, but the end result is a thriving, sustainable garden that brings joy and satisfaction. Chapter 3. Enter the robot's automated farming, enter stage left. Steve, my tiny robot planter. Fresh out of the box, he's supposed to be my new farmhand. But as with all technology, things don't go as planned. Steve gets stuck in a corner, spinning helplessly. I watch deadpan and declare, Steve is fired. Next up, I test an AI crop monitor, a gadget that beeps aggressively at wilted plants. It's like a plant Fitbit, but way more judgmental. The challenge here? Robots are expensive, and sometimes they rebel. But when they work, it's like having a team of tiny helpers tirelessly tending to the plants. It's a glimpse into the future of farming, where technology and nature work hand in hand, or in this case, hand in robotic claw. Chapter 4. The Chicken Coop of the Future Now, what's a farm without chickens? Enter the automated chicken coop, complete with a door that opens at sunrise. I introduce the chickens to their new smart home, confident that my 5 a.m. wake-up calls are a thing of the past. But, as always, technology has its quirks. Cut to the chickens, ignoring the fancy door and escaping through a gap. There I am, chasing them, yelling, technology is a lie. It's a reminder that while gadgets can make life easier, they're not foolproof. But when they work, they're a game changer. The chickens eventually settle in, and I find myself marveling at the blend of old world farming and new world tech. It's a balancing act, but one that's worth every misstep in chicken chase. 
Chapter 5. The Big Test. Can we survive off this? After weeks of trial and error, it's time for the big test. I harvest veggies, collect eggs, and stand back looking proud. Solar-powered lettuce, robot-tended tomatoes, and slightly disobedient chickens. It's all come together. I whip up a salad, take a bite, and pause. Needs more bacon, I admit, laughing. It's a journey that's been filled with challenges. But seeing the fruits of my labor makes it all worthwhile. This experiment isn't just about growing food. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's about embracing technology, learning from failures, and ultimately, creating a sustainable future. And if I can do it, anyone can. So here's to the future of farming, one that's off-grid, high-tech, and a little bit chaotic. As the sun sets on my little farm, I sit back and reflect on this wild adventure. Was it easy? No. Worth it? Absolutely. If I can do this, you can too. It's been a journey of ups and downs, but every challenge has been a stepping stone to success. So smash that like button if you'd eat robot-grown food, subscribe for more off-grid chaos, and tell me in the comments, should I add a drone scarecrow next? The possibilities are endless, and I can't wait to see what comes next. As the outro music plays, enjoy a few bloopers of me versus the robots. It's been a blast, and I hope you've enjoyed the ride as much as I have. Until next time, keep dreaming big and never stop experimenting.